You ever mess around in Canva and wonder, hmm, can I make a whole video in here? And the answer is yes, yes you can, even with the free version. I've been making videos with Canva for years now, and I'm still finding features that almost feel illegal because they're so easy to use. But the paid version, that's when Canva turns into an editing beast. And today, I'm gonna show you how to make a complete video inside Canva using just Canva. Let's get to it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is come here to Canva, and if you don't have a Canva account, you'll need to sign up for one. I'll post a link in the description down below for a free 30-day trial of the Canva Pro package for 30 days if you want to try it out. It is my affiliate link, but if you use it, you'll help support the channel by potentially buying me a cup of coffee, so thanks for that. The first thing I need to do is actually create my story, so I need to come up with an idea and then write a script. So I'll go to Canva AI right here and go to Doc. Next, I'll click right here on Type. It'll show you several options, choose the one you want, and one of them is Story or Script. Okay, I'll use Script, but either one of these would be fine. So click on that, and then I'm going to put an idea up here. So I'll change this a little bit. I want to create a short video about a military-trained adventurer, a young lady in her mid-twenties, long brown hair, wearing a military-styled adventurer's outfit and scarf, with a belt and pouches. She also wears goggles and a hood, and is looking for a machine buried in the desert that can predict the future. She doesn't believe in it until she finds it. So let's go ahead and click here, and now it'll create me a draft script. Okay, that's pretty good. If you want to make a change, watch this. So I'm going to change her name right here. So this script even has dialogue, so that's cool. All right, so it's got scenes one, two, three, four, etc. We've got sound details if we need it. There's the dialogue and four scenes. So this will work out great for our demo here. Okay, so now that we've got all this, we can go on to step two. So now I'm going to open up a new tab for Canva, and I'll go to Canva AI. And this time I'm going to choose image. So I'll click on that and then choose 16 by nine, but you can choose from any of these options. You have many style choices. I think for now, I'm just going to and see what my prompt gives me first. Let me grab my prompt for the first scene, and I'll put it right up there, then click here. Okay, it's not exactly what I wanted, so I'm going to come right over here and reuse this prompt, and Canva will put it right up here. This time I'm going to change the style. I want something more illustrated, more hand-drawn looking. So how about illustration? Click on these to see how it looks. I think I like this one the best. So I will click here to boost resolution. Notice this has a crown, so this is a paid feature. Also, if I wanted to change it, I could by typing in something different here. But for now, I'm going to leave it as is. Next, I'll download it. Then I'll do the same thing for all the rest of the images I need to make. I'll keep all these the same. Canva always gives you four to start, so you have plenty of options to choose. And you can always use any of these others if you wanted to. Okay, so now I'm going to create an audio narration for it. You can see here I've already done it, but I'm going to show you how to do it too. There are two different ways. These are one way. This one is something completely different, so let me show you how I made them. I came over here to the sidebar and went down to audio, clicked on that, and then chose generate AI voices. So I'll go back to my story and grab the first line of narration here. I'll just copy it. Then I'll go back over here. So I'm going to choose generate AI voice and put my text right up here. Now you can choose from any of these voices or languages. I'm going to choose English and United Kingdom. Next, you have two paid voices. If you see the crown here, you know those are paid. These two are free, so choose whichever one you want. And now I'll hit generate voice and it goes right here. So I'll remove the old one and put the new one right there. Wherever you put your playhead at is where Canva will add it. Okay, it added it right there. Let's listen to it. Just another day in paradise. So we'll go back to our story and come down here and grab this. Then we'll come back up here and we'll replace that. And we'll make this page a little bit shorter since it's kind of long. And this time I'll just keep the same one. Remember, you need to put your playhead right where you want the sound to go. And there it is. If we want to listen to it, we can just scroll right over it. Then that's how you do that. 
You can see here, I've already made the other voices for my story, but now I will show you a different way of doing it. So I'll delete this one, and this time I'm going back to audio, and then I'm going to choose record voiceover. So put your playhead right where you want the audio to be added. I'll click on voiceover and press this button here to record. And then when you're done, just hit the stop button. Once you click on that big red button, it's going to pull up a countdown here. Once the countdown's finished, then you start talking. Once you're done, you just click the finish button right over here. Stop recording, and that's it right there. Check this out. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a complete video inside Canva using only Canva tools. And that's how you do it. So now I've made the story, my images, and recorded the narrations. I've also got some sounds added in here. If you'll go to audio and then look for wind gust, you'll see all these. Anything with a crown on it is for the paid members. And if you want to listen to it, just click on the triangle to hear it. If you like that, make sure your playhead is exactly where you want the sound to be, and then click on the button to add it right here. For example, let me delete this one and I'll show you. If I wanted it to go right here, I would click on the name, and now it's been added there. You could also make it quieter, and I would definitely suggest you do that so it doesn't overwhelm your voices. You can always adjust this if it's not loud enough. You can always make it louder. Fine-tune your sounds for the best video experience that you can make. Experiment with it until you're happy. Okay, now I'm going to show you something else. This is also a great option to make videos inside Canva that not everyone knows about. So here is the story I just made in Canva AI a few minutes ago. You also watched me create the AI voices and then add the sounds I found inside Canva. Now I'm going to make the same story, but differently. This time, instead of using just static images, I'll be making videos. Yes, moving videos here inside Canva. Check this out. All these were made here inside Canva. Let me show you how to do that. This is the wind blowing, and this is a voiceover that I made before. So all that's the same. The thing that's different in this version is that instead of images, I now have videos. I used the same prompts for these videos as I used for the images over here. So I came over here to my script and I grabbed this prompt. Then I came down here on the left-hand side to find Magic Media. If you don't have it on the side over here, go to Apps, type it in here, and then pick this one, Magic Media. So I'll click on Videos and drop my prompt in here. I'm also going to put the video size in here, 16 by nine. Then I'll click Go. Okay, and it just finished. Let's watch it. And then I'll do the same thing with each of these scenes until I'm done. Just keep going until there's a video for each scene. And then I would just add my sounds to the bottom of it. So basically the same process I used before. And if you don't like the video Magic Media gives you, you can always regenerate it again. So now you know that making videos inside Canva is a real option. I wanted to show it to you because some people don't realize that this is a real possibility. Feel free to watch the two completed videos. Just another day in paradise. Oracle of the Sands, more likely to predict heat stroke. They say it's buried somewhere in this wasteland, built by the ancients. Oh man, no way. What have I done? Just another day in paradise. Oracle of the Sands, predicts the future, more likely to predict heatstroke. They say it's buried somewhere in this wasteland, built by the ancients. Oh man, no way. What have I done? And if you love finding out about crazy cool AI tricks before everyone else, subscribe now so you're the first to know when new AI tools drop. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep making it with AI. Thanks for watching.